Good afternoon. This is Akashvani and I am Valsa Williams with the Midday News. The headlines. Railways to set up permanent holding areas at 60 railway stations across the country to manage crowds. India develops world's largest 10-ton propellant mixer for solid rocket motors, says ISRO. India's smartphone exports surged by 140% in January as compared to the same month last year. European leaders set to hold emergency meeting on Ukraine crisis. And in Women's Premier League, Delhi Capitals to take on Royal Challengers Bengaluru at Varodhara this evening. The railways will set up permanent holding areas at 60 railway stations across the country to manage crowds. Sources in the ministry said the decision has been taken to manage heavy crowds during peak season. The railways will also use advanced technology to monitor crowds. It said a special campaign will be launched at all Delhi railway stations to monitor the facilities and smooth flow of passengers. During the campaign the railways will take feedback from passengers, shopkeepers, police and coolies. To ensure smooth passenger movement, platform tickets will not be issued at New Delhi railway station for the next one week between 4 p.m. and 11 p.m. A total of 338 special trains were operated from various stations of Prayagraj yesterday for the convenience of the devotees returning home after taking a holy dip in the Sangam. Railway said more than 18 lakh passengers travelled in these trains. In a major technological breakthrough, India has developed the world's largest 10-ton propellant mixer for solid rocket motors. The mixer was designed by ISRO's Satish Dhawan Space Centre in collaboration with the Central Manufacturing Technology Institute in Bengaluru. The mixer weighs 150 tons and stands 8.7 meters tall with a length of 5.4 meters and a breadth of 3.3 meters. It ensures precise and safe mixing of solid propellant ingredients essential for rocket launch. More from our correspondent. The Indian Space Agency ISRO has once again made our country proud from the launch vehicles to satellites from launch pads to spacecraft reentry technologies ISRO has achieved milestones significant for the growth of Indian space program the production of 10 ton vertical mixer is testament to India's growing technological prowess self reliance and commitment to innovation this equipment can be operated remotely as the process involves highly hazardous materials the capacity of the mixer is so huge that it will help speed up heavy solid motor production the hydraulic driven multiple agitators will ensure precise mixing of the ingredients sudhindra akashvani news bengaluru india smartphone exports surged by 140% in january compared to the same month last year reaching a record 25000 crore rupees this remarkable growth was driven by tech giants apple and samsung who ramped up overseas shipments from their indian supply chains from april to january of the current financial year total smartphone exports have touched 1.55 lakh crore rupees representing a 56% increase over the corresponding pe- figure of 99120 crore rupees in the same period last year India's growing electronics exports especially in smartphones have been boosted by the government's production linked incentive scheme which has attracted global tech giants In West Bengal the leader of the opposition Subhendu Adhikari and three other BJP MLAs have been suspended from the assembly today for a period of 30 days or until the current sitting of the session continues earlier when the house sat for today's business the BJP demanded a statement from chief minister Mamata Banerjee on the issue of alleged resistance to Saraswati Puja at various educational institutions this month women members of the BJP led by Agnimitra Paul moved an adjournment motion on the issue speaker biman vandopadhyay allowed the motion but denied permission to hold a discussion on it bjp members led by the leader of the opposition shubhendu adhikari then went to the well of the house the speaker expressed his displeasure at the conduct of the bjp mlas bjp mlas walked out of the house and demonstrated outside the assembly 
The inaugural day of the Assam Legislative Assembly's budget session 2025 began today at the Bodoland Territorial Council BTC Legislative Chamber in Kokrajhar. This is the first time that the assembly convened outside the state capital of Dispur. The first day's proceedings began at 12 noon in Kokrajhar, followed by the speech of Governor Lakshman Prasad Acharya. The remaining day's session will take place at the Assam Legislative Assembly Chamber in Dispur, Guwahati. The budget will be tabled on the 10th of March. This will be the last full-fledged budget of the Himanta Biswa Sarma led state government as the assembly polls are likely to be held in March April next year. The government terms the one day session in Kokrajhar as a, a significant milestone symbolizing peace, progress and the inclusive development of the borderland territorial region. In Jammu and Kashmir a brief exchange of fire took place along the line of control LOC in Golpur sector of Punch district when an army post came under fire from a forested area of Pakistan yesterday. Akashwani Jammu correspondent cited reports that the firing believed to be sniper shots aimed at the army soldiers took place yesterday. The soldiers retaliated and the exchange of fire lasted for a very brief period. There was no report of any damage on the Indian side. However, it was not clear whether the Pakistani army was behind the firing or the terrorists hiding in the forests and waiting for an opportunity to sneak in. The ceasefire violations along the borders in Jammu and Kashmir have become few and far between since India and Pakistan renewed the ceasefire agreement on February 25th, 2021. In the 7th episode of Pariksha Pe Charcha 2025, boxer and Olympic medalist Marikom, Paralympic gold medalist shooter Avni Lekra and Indian shuttler Suhas Lalila Khere Yathiraj shared tips on handling exam pressure. Yathiraj conducted a fun activity and shared a technique to remove negativity from life. Indian shooter Avni Lekra told students if they study daily with complete focus, they will be able to retain the information. She said there are breathing exercises that help maintain a calm heart rate during exams. Sometimes the consistency is very important for things. अगर आप रोज आधा घंटा एक घंटा पढ़ाई कर रहे हो एक घंटा पूरा फोकस के साथ करोगे तो आई थिंक आपको वो ज्यादा दिमाग में रहेगा ब्रीदिंग एक्सरसाइजेज होती हैं अगर आप वो करते हो तो आपका ना जो हार्ट रेट है वो भी थोड़ी काम होती है और आप एक चीज पे ध्यान दे पाते हो Sharing the video of the Pariksha Pe Charcha episode, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said the country's sportspersons inspire people with their resilience, focus and winning mindset. This is Akashwani giving you the news for quick news updates around the clock. Follow us on our X handle at AIR News Alerts and for details of stories and more, log on to our website www.newsonair.gov.in and download news on AIR app. Welcome back to the midday news. French President Emmanuel Macron will host an emergency summit of European leaders including Britain's Prime Minister Keir Starmer on the Ukraine conflict today. The development comes after US officials suggested Europe would have no role in any talks on ending the conflict. The French presidency has said Macron had called for the consultation talks and they would address the tumultuous change in the US approach to Ukraine and the attendant risks to the security of the European continent. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk, NATO Secretary General Mark Rutte, Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen and President of the European Council Antonio Costa are expected to be at the summit. The Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, will be on a two-day state visit to India from today. During the visit Sheikh Tamim will hold talks with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He will be accompanied by a high-level delegation including ministers, of senior officials and a business delegation. The external affairs ministry said in a statement, the visit of the Emir of Qatar will provide further momentum to the growing multifaceted partnership. The MEA said in recent years the ties between the two countries including in the areas of trade, investment, energy, technology, culture and people to people ties have continued to strengthen. The Mahakumbh 2025 is proving to be a golden opportunity for artisans from across the country. This grand event held at the confluence in Prayagraj features an impressive exhibition of one district one product spread over 6000 square meters. 
Our correspondent reports that the exhibition has been a hit among both the local populace and the visiting devotees. Items such as chicken curry from Lucknow, perfumes from Kannauj, glass toys from Firozabad, woodwork from Raibareli and other handicraft products are becoming major attractions for visitors. Talking to Akashwani News, Monty, a shopkeeper from Hamirpur, highlighted the speciality of handmade sandals being sold at the ODOP exhibition. We have all these handicraft and the pen is very comfortable and the range is very good. These are all our home and they make it very good. It's very good, the sale is very good here. People have known about the handicraft. While Urmila Sharma from Mathura told Akashwani News that the jewellery and clothes for Lord Sri Krishna being sold at the exhibition are reflective of the city's culture. I am from Mathura. I am from one project. I am from ODOP. I am from my project. I am from the world. I am from my market. 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 The visitors are also having a memorable time at the ODOP spot. Talking to Akashwani News, Anugra Singh said that the exhibition has complemented the joyous experience of the adjoining Mahakum Fair. The shops are good. They 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 are good. The One District One Product Initiative is an unprecedented effort to promote MSMEs and boost local economy. The Mahakum is not only strengthening the spiritual and cultural identity but has also become a vast platform for entrepreneurs. With Abhishek Kapil, Adarsh, for Akashwani News, Prayagraj. An earthquake of magnitude 4 hit New Delhi and several parts of northern India early this morning. According to the National Center of Seismology, the origin time was 0536 hours and the epicenter was located at a depth of 5 kilometers near Delhi. Minister of State for Earth Sciences Dr. Jitendra Singh assured citizens that the authorities and experts are constantly monitoring the situation after tremors hit Delhi this morning. Meanwhile, in Bihar, tremors were also felt this morning in Siwan district and the adjoining areas. People came out in panic from their houses after experiencing the tremors. The Indian Meteorological Department has said the day temperature continues to be above normal by 3 to 5 degrees Celsius over Delhi, Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana and West Uttar Pradesh. Talking exclusively to Akashwani News, senior IMD scientist R.K. Jenamani said a western disturbance is likely to affect rising temperatures, bringing light to scattered rainfall, thunderstorms and lightning over northwest India and the western Himalayan region from the 19th of this month. Day temperature uh, continue to above normal by 3 to 5 degree over North India, particularly over Delhi, Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, and West UP. Uh, it will continue to rise another 1 to, to 2 degree or 3 degree. Good news is that uh, active western disturbance is coming around 19, and that will cause light rainfall 20th early morning or 19 night also. Thunderstorm can occur over the Northwest India, including Western Himalayan region on 19 and 20. In Women's Premier League, WPL Delhi Capitals will take on Royal Challengers Bengaluru RCB at the Kotambi Stadium in Varodhara this evening. The match will start at 7.30pm. Both teams have registered victories in their previous matches. The benchmark domestic equity indices Sensex and Nifty were trading with losses of around 0.3% in afternoon trade today as caution prevailed among investors amid continued selling by foreign institutional investors, weak third quarter corporate earnings and mixed global queues. The 30 share BSE Sensex shed 242 points to 75,697 and the NSE Nifty 50 lost 66 points to 22,863 when reports last came in. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Railways to set up permanent holding areas at 60 railway stations across the country to manage crowds. India develops world's largest 10-ton propellant mixer for solid rocket motors, says ISRO. India's smartphone exports surged by 140% in January as compared to the same month last year. European leaders set to hold emergency meeting on Ukraine crisis. And in Women's Premier League, Delhi Capitals to take on Royal Challengers Bengaluru at Varudra this evening.
With that, we end the Midday News.